John William Godward's art is more than just a simple escape. It is deliberately beautiful in the Victorian era, a period destined to shortly afterwards sink into the atrocity of war. In his canvases, the British artist portrays peace, feminine charm, and ideal perfection by composing idyllic neoclassical paintings in which beautiful women are motionless in environments adorned with white marble. Godward is not, however, a painter of simple, ephemeral beauties. He is an incurable dreamer, a creator of an imaginary, incorruptible world dominated by a serenity of ancient memory. His aesthetic research led him to evoke the classical pasts of mythical Greece and imperial Rome. At the center of his works, we find idealized female figures surrounded in the tranquility of alcoves or lush green meadows, backgrounds on which the whiteness of their skin stands out. They are enigmatic creatures in continuous and perennial metamorphosis. Through the elegance of the ways in which they are depicted, Godward makes them eternal. There is a precise and perfectly credible definition of the space in which they breathe. He portrays them as quivering, joyful, or melancholic goddesses of pleasure, priestesses of a sensuality that lurks in the folds of everyday life, fragile muses that smile and scratch. Solitary, contemplative, indifferent, Godward's women can be seen as a reflection of his own personality, that of a determined, isolated, solitary man, passionately fascinated by feminine beauty, and stubbornly committed to his classical ideals. Born into a middle-class family in Wimbledon, Godward was the eldest of five children. His father, employed in an insurance office, encouraged him to follow his profession, and, for a certain period, the young man agreed. But before long, and to the great displeasure of his family, his love of art led him to take private lessons in architecture and painting. In 1887, he then secured entry to the Royal Academy, where he exhibited until 1905. In 1912, Godward moved to Rome, where he lived for seven years at Villa Strolfern, in the gardens of Villa Borghese. Among the pine forests and cedars enclosed within the high walls of the villa, the artist was inspired by new compositions where the landscape and its multicolored vegetation dialogue with a female figure. An example of this is the painting from 1917, The Fruit Vendor, in which his beloved model, known by the nickname Dolcissima, My Sweetest, is dressed in ancient clothes and sitting on the ground against a marble balustrade above which stands an imposing Egyptian sculpture of a lion, dating back to the reign of Pharaoh Nectanebo II, and today preserved in the Vatican Museums. The same lion has already appeared, in 1915, in a previous painting by Godward entitled Boschetto del Tempio di Isis, the woods of the Temple of Isis. In order to evoke simplicity and purity, the artist chose the classical image of a young woman who seems suspended in the joy of life, in a luminous, deep dream that permeates and impregnates things. Her eyes are turned to a distant thought, her contours fade into the clear background, a mysterious atmosphere and unidentifiable location a non-place where time has suddenly stopped. The girl does not look at us. Her attitude suggests a detachment from the outside world, to the point that any contact with her, with her gaze, her thoughts, or even her story, is impossible. Godward's art longs to please, to move through the eyes. It is an art in which the painter recognizes the reasons of his most authentic and genuine poetics, and where the joy of creation is visible, impetuous, and courageous. 
giving spirit, animating colors and shapes.